we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This is going to be about the ex. Okay, why the ex can't get over you, why you can't get over the ex. All right, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so it's going to be for whomever you come to the reading for. Let's see why you can't get over the ex, the, the, oh, the hierophant. Okay. And why your ex can't get over you, the empress. Okay. And the energy between the two of you, the two of swords. Okay. If I could give you what you deserved or what you really want, I would, Aries. This is what somebody is saying to you. You could have been married to this person or you could be married to this person. You can't get over them maybe because, you know, they pr they brought a lot of traditionalism, a structure, routine in your life. Or maybe this is just what you've done for a, a long time uh, or you've been in this relationship for a long time. The Hierophant says the status quo. It's like some of you are really trying to fight to get out of a box that this person has put you in. It almost reads as if somebody is already coupled, married, or in a situation and you don't want, you want them to choose you, okay? You want them to choose you and they're at a place where uh, they can't, they would if they could. The energy between the two of you is always separation. Um, deliberation is what I'm hearing. They want you to cooperate with whatever they have going on. You might be the third party or there is a third party. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of ghosting or a lot of time apart, a lot of time where you get, you don't see this person or you haven't seen them or, um, it could be like a physical time apart. Yeah. It's like you, you really, you feel like this is your person. You feel like you can also offer them guidance and structure and routine in their life. Maybe you, you feel like you can help uplift them. You may, some of you may even feel like you were guided towards this person. Let's talk about it. Let's see the Empress here, why they can't get over you. You know, it's the entree is always better with something on the side. So it's just like, Maybe they feel like you serve purpose, okay? Um, don't worry about fixing me, fix you. So back to some of you feel like you can bring this person up to a higher vibration. Somebody said, don't worry about fixing me, fix you. Um, you feel like you, this is your perfect match or your like-minded individuals. Um, like this could really work. Card just flipped out onto the floor. <laughs> uh, transform your heart, transform your life. 
So you might need to transform your desires, what you really desire in your heart, and you'll transform your life, the heart chakra. You might need to heal your heart chakra also. Um, maybe you, you like in the energy of feeling like you can fix things or if you give enough love and affection to it, it'll come around to you or you'll be chosen or you feel like you've given your devotion and your love to the wrong person. Somebody's saying I do this to several people. Woo. You're dealing with somebody who's out here. They This is what they do. You're not the only one. Okay. This card just wanted to flip out. Do you communicate your feelings and your thoughts freely? Throat chakra. Again, deliberation, cooperation. Are you really expressing yourself or does it come out in a, a you know, rage and upset or tears to where other people have to kind of interpret what is going on with you? Oh, these cards flipped out. Jeez. The toxic part is you keep letting me back. Somebody is saying, look, you know, you're playing in this toxicity too. I can't make it up. I love the time we spend together. It's like an energy where maybe it's a lot of physical time apart. And then when you connect together, somebody loves the time. Yeah. Somebody could just be in this for the physicality of the relationship. The sexual part. Just looking at you gets me in the mood, you know. Um, this is somebody here. Again, you serve purpose in their life, whatever they're in or whatever they can't get out of. The two of swords, it's like work with me. I'm a, I'll make a decision, but not now. Uh, just cooperate with me. This is a power struggle also. Somebody is in energy. I can't be alone. Therefore, I'll be with anyone. So somebody is kind of promiscuous, loose, or, you know, in the times apart. Somebody, you know, they have a space filler. You know, they somebody will fill that void. Somebody operates in a high level of selfishness. It could be you. It could be the other person. Somebody wants what they want. Um, and it only serves them selfishness. Okay. Um, you're the most understanding person I've ever met. Yeah. Question your desires. Are they pure heart chakra back to heart chakra? Like that's how we manifest. That's where we manifest from our heart with truly in our heart, not our mind, not what we say we were going to do or what we say we want, but what is really in your heart. It's like, you need to really heal your heart because you're bringing in relationships that are mirroring the problems that you have within your heart chakra. Um, maybe you like to be in relationships where there's always competition or there is a fight. Maybe this um, helps you bow out or maybe you, you're argumentative or you don't know how to express yourself freely. It comes out in rage and, and um, extremely emotional. Um, you detach and um, you will attach yourself to something else or Maybe um, some carefree relationship. This is definitely a hidden connection or one where somebody keeps you hanging on, keeps you waiting. This is somebody who's made a lot of promises. They know what they're doing. If I promise you a lot, but I don't really give much or anything at all, you'll hang on to the promise. This is somebody who ghosts you or leaves you for long periods of time and leave you in your mind. You need to transform or uh, transition your personality, something about your personality. You've been dealing with this for a very long time. The 10 of pentacles, somebody's already married couple. They are married to the empire, to the legacy. They're not even really, uh, focused on their spouse or in love with their spouse or desires their spouse, but they're not going to leave the legacy, the empire that they're building. And they only want like a carefree, um, connection with you. One that is not filled with a lot of vulnerability, closeness, and intimacy. Um, they don't want to get burned by this. That's why they kind of like, they, they take time apart from you. When it gets close, they leave. Can't make it up. Eight of cups. This is somebody who may have to travel to you or a distance to you. Um, you may not be as close to them as, um, you know, you're not up the street. You're not even 20 miles away. You could be 200 miles away. You could be 100 miles away. You could be 2,000 miles away. I don't know. Um, this is somebody here who will have you on this journey with them for an unknown length of time and no destination. Also, you might need to walk away from this out of self-respect, analyze yourself. Also in the eight of cups, you need to finish something up and move on despondency. You're getting to a place of boredom anyhow. So this is what I have for you, Aries. 
If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you took something from the reading, you can always get back. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. Shout out to um, some of the places where I have high viewership. New York, L.A., Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, London, Florida, Missouri. I think I've got them all. Um, and if you are a business-minded individual, you want to set up your complimentary um, discovery call to see if I can help you uh, get to the result that you want to get to, go ahead and do that. Um, and if you want to be around other business-minded individuals, join the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where you get valuable practical and spiritual advice in regards to either how to start, maintain, or grow your business. Take advantage of that, all right? Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.